Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Olympus server. More Olympus here. And today, uh, we're going to. I'll show you around a bit. I did a stream on the weekend, I think. Earlier in the week. I don't remember. Did a stream, did some work here. So I thought I could kind of show you what I've done. Did a little bit more here on this lower smelter, this one that I've just been using lava buckets for. More for fun than anything. And again, lava bu empty buckets end up here. Put the full ones up here. And I introduced some of the redstone that we're using up in our smelter up above. And I introduced it here as well. So it does the same thing for the cobblestone. So when the cobblestone gets all the way down, it unlocks it. Currently, I think this one is full, I think, or is it getting... Just see something here. Yeah, it's just full cobble. That's all right. Whoop. Ah! All right. Sure, you can have that cobble. You can have that cobble. There we go. This item elevator is lagging me out so bad. I've tried, like, slowing it down to see if that would help. So I've got it, like, slowed down to, like, eight ticks. But nope. Still just crippling me. I'm a cripple. All right. What else? Uh, moving on up to the next floor. We did a bit of work here. Let's get away from that redstone. Stone business. I think we... I don't think I've shown you this. We added this. Incinerator. So that'll take everything that is currently overflowed, which is the glass bottles and the sugar at this point. So these two lamps indicate that the thing is just completely full. This means it's almost full. So spider eyes we should be starting to get rid of as well. And then sticks. I did something with sticks and I did something with redstone. So there's no redstone here. That's because it's all going upstairs now. And it should be true for the sticks too, although I'm not sure if I did it right. <laughs> um, is this the sticks? Yeah, here we go. So it'll, all the sticks that are currently there are going to stay there, but any other new sticks that come down, when they get introduced into this hopper, the hopper right below it should take it right away. So it shouldn't end up that way, which is true for the redstone. And instead, it'll go all the way over here. And that goes to... Oh! Goodbye! That goes to another one of these item elevators that we made up top. So we did this very similar design. Oh, seriously. Stab it! Stab it! Very similar thing. So we are... I got slabs everywhere for this. These slimes. By stealth. So I'm reading... The second dropper here, and that dropper goes into another dropper. And when we power this dropper, it powers both and causes them to spit out into that hollow area. Or there will be a hollow area when the piston pulls down, which I think it might currently be pulled down. Are you? It is. So that means there's something in it. Yes. Okay. So this one works a little bit different. It doesn't have a like a timer that will go if it gets if these items have been sitting here for too long because it doesn't really matter. These can accumulate slowly, and then once it gets up to three stacks, and I might even change that. I could increase it up to like nine stacks fairly um, reliably if we're only moving two items up here. That shouldn't be a problem for it getting nine stack or eight stacks. Maybe I don't know. Depends. As long as they keep trickling in at a fairly one-to-one -one ratio, that should work out. So anyway, I don't know if you want me to go over this, but it's working the exact same way. So this comparator is reading that, so there's items in it. So when there's items in it, this turns on, which turns this torch off, which turns that off, which lowers the piston. So the piston is retracted and ready to go. And then once there is three stacks, this comparator will allow this signal to go through. So if this is saying there's three stacks in there, it will compare. And that one, 
three stacks coming in the side, so it'll compare this to that. And because it's in compare mode and not subtract mode, it will turn on if this is if this is equal to that, it will be on. If this is greater than that, it will be off like it currently is. So this has three stacks in it. This only has like two. So this is currently off. But once this turns on, this thing right here is an RS NOR latch. So this will turn on. It'll stay on. And it'll turn on this clock, which will fire off the dispenser or the dropper. And also power this block, which is doing this piece of redstone right here. So that's powering this hopper, and then as soon as I put that there, it's also powering this hopper. Not a huge deal uh, that it's powering both. I don't really need it to be, but... So that'll just prevent more items from trickling in. That's probably not needed in this case either. But that's about it. Uh, the RS Norlash gets reset by that piston that's down there. So as soon as this thing empties out, this will turn off. Redstone dust turns off. Torch turns back on. That turns back on, which fires the piston, which makes the things go away. Also turns that repeater on, which will turn the RS NOR latch back to this state. And it waits for another cycle. So that is that, and that just goes... Uh, probably not a good way. Let's take the ladder. And that goes... all the way up. Hey, witches. It goes all the way up here. Yeah, maybe I will have to pearl. That's pearl. Whee! Or I could take the ladder. But I didn't. Alright. So here we are in the witch. Wow, I'm lagging. My apologies. And I think I'm going to swap this out for a different pusher. As this one works. But I would like to get something smaller in here. And then we could maybe make s use of some of the other space around here. This guy goes up, and it... Uh, there's a perch right there. And there we go. So there's a hopper line. So the items come up. They get spat into the hoppers. There's two hoppers that will get the items. And they send the items into the other item elevator. And then they go all the way up. Up, 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 up. And then from there, uh, let's get out of here. Let's take the ladder. Maybe. And then from there, they just go into the regular sorter. And we've got the regular sorter all hooked up now. I think I've we saw that in the last episode. I also tried hooking this up, I think, in the stream. This is like a... It was supposed to be an overflow indicator, so when this thing got full... This light turns on, but then I was going to make it so that it also turned on a clock that made this thing go off. Now the problem is it goes off every time there's any items going through it. So you constantly get this ding, ding, ding if you have cobble coming in through the system. So it didn't really pan out all that well. So I got a gift from Iro. Iro Incorporated. Two diamond blocks. Which are actually my diamond blocks, but <laughs> I lent them to him, so he's paying me back. So thank you. And the quartz. I don't know if that's my quartz or if he's giving me quartz as a tip. But it's all good. Alright. Other than that, I did a bit of work up on the furnace smelting. The smelting, or the, aut what did I call it? Automatic smelting system, which no one caught on what <laughs> that's standard for. Um, but I'm going to call it the Marillabus Automatic smelting system and then it's known as mass m-a-s-s -S. all right so i did some prettying up so i think you saw some of this in the last episode i showed this portion up to about here and then i talked about maybe i, I was going to tear it down and shift it all the way over and then put us put more sorting on this side so i had to keep it where it was and i just added the sorting over there instead so we got our iron and our gold over here. And then we have our refined or our smelted iron here and gold here. So I decided to put diamonds here as well. <laughs> Which apparently I don't have any in here. Hmm. And then coal and coal blocks. However, I think I'm going to put the coal blocks back down there. Because 
if I'm using coal blocks, I'm typically using them for building. So I think they should be down there with the building blocks and not up here. Um, if I do use coal, actually I want to test something. If I do use coal, I'm probably going to convert it to blocks of coal anyway for this system if I do start introducing it. But I want to try something. Um, when they first introduced the coal block, I'm pretty sure it only smelted 72 items, or the equivalent of, um, yeah, 9 times 8, so 72. However, I think that has changed, so I was going to give that a little test. Um, I need two hoppers. So if we just do this, and that, and a bit of that, and then we'll grab two stacks of cobble. Put two stacks of cobble up there. Throw that in there, and we'll see how many items it smelts. So however many make it down there, that'll be it. Oop. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep coal blocks there instead. And then yeah, if they end up if it ends up that it smelts more as a coal block, then I'll probably, if I do use coal, I'll just convert it here. So I have a little sorter right above. That's right here. I think this is as low as I could get it without kind of remodeling everything. So that's just the way it's going to be. So a regular sorter that I've been using. And then I've added this one in so that I could do the coal blocks as well as the coal. But I think I might just swap this out. Actually, I'm going to take it out right now. And we'll put charcoal in there or something like that. Or blaze rods or some other fuel, I guess. Not too sure. People have suggested using blaze rods, but in order to get a lot of blaze rods, I would need to like AFK probably at the blaze farm, which I don't like AFKing. So I don't really want to do that. Or if our wither farm or wither hunting grounds worked properly, I could get a decent amount from there. Um, okay, so it looks like it's out of... It's going through... This thing goes through sticks fairly quickly by the looks of it. So right now it doesn't look like it's keeping up. Or it's not, like, storing an excess of stick. Which is okay. So I'm not sure if this thing will be able to run constantly on sticks if we're running it kind of frequently. So we'll have to see. But that's kind of why I want to have some excess fuel over here just to, just in case but yeah so that worked out I think that works out well looks decent enough over here I uh, just have to figure out how to hide it all in and what to do above it that will probably end up going I guess all the way to the ceiling maybe maybe we'll try to incorporate this trim I've got going and continue that above I'm not too sure same with this wall probably get the wall to come up here and just continue at the same height the border to come around and meet up somehow. Who knows? I'm pretty sure I've shown you the stairs that go up to this area. And then I've got nothing. So i got to figure out what to do with this area. And if you'll notice, actually, there's no more portal floating on a piece of dirt. <laughs> so I found a new home for the portal. And I think I was talking about it in the stream, I can't remember, but of putting the portal right here. So this is the blue section right here. So this is where I've kind of decided to put it for right now. Unless I decide on another place. And we'll probably have more than one portal here anyway. And this is all I did. I actually kept some of the, I was going to say bedrock, uh, obsidian visible. So I do kind of like the obsidian sometimes. It gives a nice, I don't know. It, it can work sometimes, and I think it's working okay here. I mean, it doesn't match anything around it, but in itself it looks good, <laughs> I think. So yeah, I just kind of skinned it and hit it, and then this is... not sure what to do here now. If we should have some big windows maybe here. Maybe that's what this section should be. And then that one, I've been working a little bit over top of the co-op. I've also finished this. I don't know if I showed that. I don't think I have. So this is kind of all finalized. I might have shown some of it. I really can't remember, guys. And that looks like that needs to be changed. Um, I did the exact same thing underneath as over there. 
Now there is something that looks a little off. I'm not sure if I should change it though. So this is the center point of this wall, but this is the center point of the balcony. So it kind of looks a little odd. I could change it by just simply shifting this over one, adding one here, kind of, you know, shift it over so it lines up. But I'm not sure if it's needed or if it should be. So for now, I'm leaving it. And yeah, up here, please don't go into the water. I think I'm going in the water. Yep, or outside the tower. Let's just wait here for a second. There we go. All right. Is this done? Yep. Nope. Not done. Okay, green. Green is co-op, right? Sure. There we go. Alright, so I was starting to work up here, figure out what I want to do. I just laid out a floor on top of the co-op, kind of above all the redstone. So I'm thinking I want to put a window here as well, of some kind. Either a bunch of little ones, maybe. The larches. Just like two wide, right beside each other, or something like that, or three wide, maybe. So we can get a nice point. So yeah, kind of what I'm looking at here. And I was just trying to line it up with the outside to get the windows in the right spot. So that whenever I figure out what I want to do for this wall on the ex exterior here, I'll be able to get it working. I can think some really bad rendering lately. Things do not render. What is that? It looks like, like an item frame or something. Oh, it's a boat. <laughs> well, F3A did not help in this case. Wow. But I think that is all I've been working on off camera and during the stream. So yeah, we made that incinerator, we brought up the items. And now our item sorter is pretty much fully functional. We have those input chests down on the main floor. And I do want to add some more kind of in various locations, so you don't always have to go down there to drop some stuff off. Especially if you had like the smelter. The smelter should probably have a chest to send things back into the sorter. Or, in fact, we could, seizure run, we could add something else underneath, we could add a hopper underneath this guy. Uh, currently it's just a cauldron, so it kind of looks the same as a hopper. So I've got a cauldron there, but we could swap that out for a hopper that's normally powered. And maybe we could figure out a place to put another button. And if you wanted the things that you're smelting to automatically get sorted into the sorting system then you could do that. You could flip that switch and it would automatically take the stuff out and sort it. So that could be an option as well. And we'd have to see about that. I'd probably have to wind this to three. I'm not too sure. I mean, there's space for a button here, but I don't think I could actually hook it up to anything. I don't think there's enough room to get a signal off of it, but we could try. And that would work out okay. So yeah. And what's this one? This one's like low fuel, right? So that one looks like it's on, or it's off, so that means it's not a... There's fuel, essentially. So yeah, these are all full of sticks. So that light will stay off until they empty out. But yeah, they're not completely evenly distributed, as you can see here. This guy at the end's got a lot more, and I think I'll run into some problems if I get a lot of sticks. Once it gets um, to a full state, and this guy stays on, this redstone will stay off. And then as sticks come in, they're just going to go into this hopper and then they'll get sucked right down. So it'll slowly fill up from this side to the right side. And then eventually when it gets all the way over here, I think it'll eventually fix itself to a point. But I'm not sure if, yeah, we'll have to see if we run into some some problems and then look for a fix for that. All right. So yeah, this area up here, I want to figure out. I've talked about maybe just having a balcony similar to this on the other side. It might, like currently it's, I could have a balcony right here and that would be kind of symmetrical and this would be the center of it. Or we could push it further back this way, over top. I kind of like the idea of being able to look down at the other portal though. And then I'm thinking this will wrap around here. There'll be probably just a balcony here looking down, I think. 
And then I'm not sure. I mean, we got this upper floor to think about as well. So, I mean, there's going to be something above. So we need a way to get up there. And although I'll probably have some Ender Pearls elevators eventually, probably hidden in these guys, like I think I've mentioned. Uh oh, zombie. But it's mostly lit up. <laughs> to get the odd zombie. So I think that might sound like a baby zombie, one of them. Yeah, that guy. That one sounds like a baby. We caught. Caught Iro, baby. <laughs> If you check out his video, you'll see it. Hmm. Not sure where he is. Not a big deal. I'm sure you guys have seen the babies by now. They are funny. And they are fast. But yeah, um, as I was saying, I think, I would like to have stairs. So we'll have enderpearl elevators in various locations. But I think it would be nice to have stairs going as well. Where are you? Must be up top, maybe. I'm surprised he hasn't jumped on my face, though. Unless he's hidden inside. Yeah, I'm getting closer. I think he's on the roof. So maybe we should have stairs here that end up going to the next level. That way it's like one long kind of corkscrew. So you kind of come up, you come up, you come up, and then we'll go up some more here, and then you get up to the second floor. And then we'll probably have uh, enderpearl elevators in all the posts as well, so you can get up even quicker from various locations either we'll have them open or we'll have them all kind of hidden access so you have to hit do something hit a button hit a hidden lever or something that will open up a pillar to allow you to get inside to use the ender pearl elevator and the ender pearl elevator will spit you out and maybe if we can make it all seamless that would be good so like it would be relatively easy to use this maybe oops now I mean, we could retract that, so that could be the entrance. You shoot yourself up, and then you get spat out somewhere to the side. I'm not sure. I want my piece of wood back. And now I will never get back up there. I will never get back up there. I'm up there. Ha! Ah, suck it. Only two tries. All right. Okay, now let's check our status of our furnace and then we'll move on to something else still cooking how we doing 64 we're at 71 so we're definitely gonna be cooking more than 72 items so yeah I think it's 80 I think I remember seeing get my roof is on the reddit or in the wiki but I let's see I will wait here Okay, if it's 80 items, it should stop right after this one. Done. Okay. So, 64 plus 16 is 80. Okay. So it does indeed do more, so that's kind of cool. So if you're smelting, if you're doing it with hoppers, you're probably better off using coal blocks than using coal. So that's an interesting... so now like charcoal was an alternative but coal is in fact I guess better overall. Okay, I think this is all like full. Oh no, that's a better room. Good! Yeah, and I've been storing a lot of co stone downstairs by the furnaces, by the the lava furnace. So, and I've been transporting a bit of it because we're working on, if you saw the stream, it was on Tuesday. Hey! Oops, slime bone. If you saw the stream on Tuesday, we did a bit of work on the zombie arena. And I brought a bunch of stone over there for that. So, yeah, this is just my stone storage here getting quite full. I think everything on this side is full. Except for this last row over here. This is currently empty and then I'm currently filling up this side. I think 
these are full, and then I've been adding in these ones in the middle. So, should have loads of stone. So I've just been transporting most of the cobble that I've been getting from digging out this area, the surrounding pit. I've been just bringing down here. The guard is skelly. Skelly, skelly. Yeah, I haven't done too much digging lately. Or any. Uh, I did do this. I don't know if I showed you that. My attempt at making this natural looking. It ended up kind of flattening out, unfortunately. So I'll have to round it a bit more as I go around. And yeah, I did this as I dug this down by hand. So I'd dig down a few levels and I'd kind of work on that a bit. And then dig down and work on that. So that kind of worked out a decent way of doing it. I'll have to see how it all looks at the end of it. And I might swap out the dirt. Close up those caves. I'm not too sure. I'll have to see. Speaking of caves, I went caving. I didn't record it. Uh, I wasn't too. I don't think anything exciting happened anyway. Found. I found a zombie spawner that had. It was basically at the bottom of the ocean. Like, it was flooded in. It had sand in it, kind of like you see in the desert. That was kind of interesting. It was a zombie spawner. But I don't know if I got... I got a bunch of name tags. I've got 11 now. I think I had 5. And I got another 6 on this uh, caving trip. And then I think I found some horse armor. I found like 6 records. I found 2 13s, 2 chirps, and 2 cats. And then I think I had like... I think I found another like 5 saddles or something like that. But other than that, got didn't... Didn't actually get too much ores that time because most of my inventory was full of like saddles and stupid things that take up so much space. So yeah, that brings you up to speed to present on what is happening. I do want to get out of this hole in the ground. <laughs> so um, next thing we got to find a place for, and that's kind of why I'm slowly moving these. So these used to all have cobble in them. So I've been emptying them out and bringing them down there to that smelter. If I tried to do that using the sticks, I would be out of sticks in minutes. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But yeah, I want to get everything out of here. So I think the next thing we got to do is figure out where we want to store like tools and such. And oh, actually, that gives brings a good point. So in my last episode, I was trying to get these things to work in the Nether. Uh, I've been doing a little bit more experimenting, and it does work in SMP as well. It's just. Uh, there seems to be certain chunks where it does not work in. I ended up loading up a test world, and I did it on my server too, because I originally thought maybe it was a single player only thing. Because I remember doing a bunch of tests, and I, it was working in the nether pretty much almost all over the place. But then when I tried it here in the wither farm, it didn't work. So I, I have gotten it to work in other areas of the nether. In fact, I bet we could probably get it to work if we just go into the nether. So let's go ahead and do that. You would. All right. Ooh. This is our water bottle. So it looks like we're getting low on water bottles. I also installed one of these at the other end. So I have we have speed boost going both ways now. That's always good. Okay, let's see if it'll work here. I have a feeling it probably will. So, so yeah, it works basically if all the blocks above it have not been placed by you. So if they're naturally generated, as long as they're not quartz and or glowstone. But otherwise, it seems to work. But like I said, there are certain chunks where it does not work. Okay, actually it's not working here. I actually thought it would. And I can't... I have to figure out any kind of rhyme or reason for that. I don't think I've placed any of these blocks. And in fact, I mean, you could dig out straight up to bedrock here. And if it doesn't turn on, then it's not going to. <laughs> so yeah, it didn't work here. But what I did in uh, Creative World is I've... I set up basically just a string of them, right? Like just a three-wide pathway going across, and I'd throw down beacons all the way along. And there were certain chunks where it just didn't work. Like you can see where you are if you look at your 
x value and your z value will show you which chunk you're in. So we're in c negative 20 x or 26 for the x and 22 for the z. So there's distinct borders. As soon as I crossed over a chunk, all of a sudden the beacon would work. And I'd go over another chunk and it wouldn't work. So I'm not too sure. And it seems that all the chunks around a nether fortress are the ones that definitely do not work. But I don't know if that's 100% the case or if there's certain there's certain fortresses it does work in. That was just happened to be the world that I was testing in. I could not get I could not get one to work inside another fortress or above another fortress. So yeah. These work in the Nether, but they're definitely not I don't know, it's I'm pretty sure that's a glitch that they actually work in the Nether. And the requirements as of right now are unclear to me. I know there's the one requirement of you can't have any blocks placed. But there also seems to be, and it can't be glowstone or quartz, but there also seems to be something else in terms of just random chunks work and random chunks do not work. So I'm not sure what what causes that. Uh, we could probably try getting another one to work. Let's go down to the real nether, I guess. Is this where this goes? Don't even know. I think it does. Boing, boing, hitting my head. Or I might have come down here and then given up and gone back up top. <laughs> Which seems to be the case. <laughs> Let me out of the nether! Let me out! Aha! Okay, let's just try random spots. I also learned that these... You can't blow up a beacon with a gas ball. So that's good to know. <laughs> I did that in the test world. Just for fun. Yeah, see, not working here either. Man. Okay, let's just try going over a chunk and see if it'll work. Now, that could be because there's quartz or something above, too. It's hard to say without going up there. And I don't really want to go up there. So let's try moving over a chunk. Actually, this brings us into a new chunk, doesn't it? Oh, no, wrong value. Okay, let's go over here and try. Ah, let's just make sure there's no quartz directly overhead. Whew, no. I would like to find one that actually works. So it could show you. But, and I also think this is all we're going to do for today, guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I didn't really get, we didn't really actually do anything, but I got to show you what had been done off camera. I don't know if that, if you like that sort of thing, or if you'd prefer, nope, don't do it. Or if you prefer, okay, this, that could be quartz, so maybe if I got rid of the quartz, might as well take that quartz. I'll take quartz. I am known as the quartz thief on the server. But I only, I only mine it in my area, so I don't know. I don't think that's fair, fair label. Okay, we could try that, see if it opened up. I didn't go all the way to bedrock, but maybe that's enough. Damn. <laughs> Alright, should we try one more spot? And then we'll have to call it quits. And what I'm looking for is those icons on the first row should light up. They should become a clickable button. But they're not. Alright. Go away. We'll do it over here. Right after we kill you. Not even close. Oh, you dodged. I'm going to say you dodged that one too, but really that was just a bad shot. Wow. Sometimes I'm really good with the bow. Other times, awful. Pure garbage. Why don't you die already? That's nice. There's a fortress right there. Anyway. One more try. One more try. Wah! And someone asked what I'm going to do with these beacons since I can't put them in the nether. I'm not sure. There we go. So this is what should happen if it works. 
So now I could put or in there and we'd get the effect. So yeah. It does work in the nether. It just seems to be hit and miss. So there's something to do with chunkage. <laughs> certain chunks it works in, certain chunks it does not. But I don't know why. So if anybody you know have any further information on that, that'd be interesting to know. Because yeah, uh, it's not an absolute thing. Hey baby! Now to find my way back in. Well boys and girls, that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. I will never find my way home. Found it. Bye bye. Mm.